Hello everyone. So in this tutorial, today we will learn about the enzymes. Enzymes as in the sense of like inducers and inhibitors of the metabolism of drugs. So you say I'm ro pharmacokinetics ko part ho. Uh, we will talk further in just the absorption, metabolism, distribution or ADM. We remember that, right? Okay. So this is uh, under the metabolism. So how the enzymes are metabolized, like how enzymes metabolize the drugs or any foreign objects in our body. So usually we will uh, enzymes the there is as we all know enzyme is a protein molecule which is like biological, which will enhance the biological catalyst just the kamgar which will enhance the chemical reaction, right? So I'm let's say. Your topic mahajasai we will talk about those enzymes which are involved in removing the toxins or metabolites drug metabolites actually on any kind of foreign substances so cost to enzymes or change those active wires like these are so this much i we have got microsomal and non microsomal and microsomal enzymes so yeah i'm in our good i'm just a brief introduction mother got some amyl so microsomal and non microsomal this is microsomal and non microsomal now we'll talk about site like where these enzymes are located so cytoplasm and mitochondria of hepatic cells much we have got the non microsomal enzymes whereas smooth in the plasmic reticulum of liver kidney or lungs much i uh, we like in our go cells much and we have got these microsomal enzymes so let's say as a precisely one the here is a amro cell ma micro tubular system on sign yes so it is located in that so micro tubular system which is like forming this is more than the plasmic reticulum so yeah let's amble kevan some the microsomal enzymes right okay then a few examples of non microsomal enzymes ma we have got esterase amides and conjugates Whereas for microsomal enzymes, we have got cytochrome P450 enzymes and we have got UDP glucuronosine, glucuronosyl transferases, whereas hydrolase and monooxygenase enzymes. So this becomes being the brief introduction of microsomal and non microsomal enzymes. Uh, these microsomal enzymes are further classified into inducers and inhibitors. So I mean, this enzyme is either induced by this group of drugs or either like these enzymes are inhibited which means either the activity is enhanced by a few groups of drugs or the activity is reduced or inhibited few by few groups of drugs so LHI was microsomal enzymes this group of drugs will affect so let us see if here ki yani ra family ki kura garna saksham bane pachi see this is enzyme right so you enzyme ko usual mechanism one ko chai drug like just metabolize garera excrete garaunne main aim chai tyo huncha so there are few groups of drug such as inducers so inducers le ke garcha ta drug ko metabolism lai enhance garnicha so like by enhancing this or inducing this microsomal enzymes so you enzyme liner le induce gare pachi drugs ko metabolism increase huncha athwa enhanced huncha jalle garda kheri chai drug will be excreted and its efficacy will be decreased manai ko matlab chaadai nai waste bhayo chaadai nai metabolize bhayo ra excrete bhayo so main aim hamle yani ra padyam ki toxin metabolizer foreign substances lai jeos major aim hamro ke huncha ta excrete garne right yeah so excrete gare pachi efficacy already come by just go like i am a famous example sir just the contraceptive pill because i like hi rasa but again your tubercular drug and tubercular drug they refamp in the oven is supposed to mother ma or that uh person then what will happen kito contraceptive pills co effectiveness got so that is efficacy got sir that is one of the famous example for that similarly अब इनहिबिटर्स को कुरा गर्दा खेरि चाहिँ व्हाट विल इट डू मीन्स इट विल इनहिबिट द माइक्रोसोमल एन्जाइम्स सो इट विल इनहिबिट दिस एन्जाइम्स एन्ड व्हाट विल हैपन कि ड्रग को मेटाबोलिज्म घट्छ सो लेस एक्सक्रिसन लेस एक्सक्रिसन भनाइको मतलब टोक्सिसिटी बढ्यो इन्क्रीज टोक्सिसिटी ओके कुनै कुनै ड्रग्समा एफिकेसी बढला बट समहाउ के हुन्छ त इनहिबिसन भएपछि ड्रग को मेटाबोलाइट्स व्हाट विल हैपन कि त्यसले टोक्सिसिटी को माइन आई मीन इट विल लीड टु द टोक्सिसिटी सो यसमा पनि सो व्हाट आर दिस ग्रुप अफ ड्रग्स व्हिच आर युजुअली इन्ड्युस्ड एन्ड मेटाबोलाइज सो कमन एक्जामपल को मात्र मैले कुरा गरे 
so we can remember it through this w c a t wild cat one error we can remember it so wild cat ma w board what we can say that is warfarin c board a contraceptive pill a board a we have got anti epileptic drugs epileptic okay anti epileptic drug whereas t board a theophylin so these are the drugs wild cat these are the group of drug which are usually induced or inhibited by this enzyme inducers or inhibitors mujhe abhi pani bane ki enzyme inducers means these induce this microsomal enzyme which will enhance the metabolism and decrease the efficacy whereas inhibitors will inhibit this enzyme and inhibit the activity of this enzyme on the drug so decrease metabolism or excretion of the drug and that will lead to the toxicity of the drug so you have time boy inducers or inhibitors ko bare ma short review but what are the examples now so inhibitors or inducers ko examples it is very very important for us to remember so i have like made this mnemonic so g p c r s how can we remember this as g protein couple receptors and g protein couple receptor samjhe bhane we have got g for grisophol vein or glucocorticoids pani so i have given uh, two examples kunai kunai ma dui ta examples han but we have to remember any one just sari jos because this is very much important it is asked in theory exams as well and as well as mcqs ma pani inducers or inhibitors ko dherai questions haru aira huncha and then we have got p word of phenytoin or phenobarbitone c word chai carbamazepin r word rifampin s word smoking so smoking aaye pachi samjhene ki alcoholism means chronic alcoholism so g protein couple receptors gpcrs a all right so these are the examples of inducers then we have got the examples of inhibitors so these are the microsomal enzyme inhibitors which we can remember through the mnemonics s i c k s i c d a v e s i c d e v so d e v is s i c so s for ssri selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors such as amle yaad garnu parne fluoxetine right duloxetin drugs aru anyways so arko pani yo anti tubercular drug ma parne bhaneko isoniazide then we have cimetidine and chloramphenicol then we have got ketoconazole anti fungal drugs this is anti histaminic drug esai gari disulfiram and deltiazem kunai dui ta maile chai jos i have like try to keep alikati huncha ni try to like keep the information more but yani ra you have to remember any one अब ते पीछे एलोप्यूरिनोल ए बड़ एंड एमिओडारोन वेर आज बी बड़ वेरापामिल एंड ई बड़ एरिथ्रोमाइसिन सो दिज आर मैक्रोलाइट हई मैक्रोलाइट्स बड़ एजिथ्रोमाइसिन बाहेक आई एम एडिंग द इन्फर्मेसन कि एजिथ्रोमाइसिन बाहेक जस्ते एरिथ्रोमाइसिन क्लारिथ्रोमाइसिन रोग जिथ्रोमाइसिन दिज अल वील एक्ट एज द एंजाइम इनहेबिटर्स राइट ओके सो these are the examples of inducers as well as inhibitors and we talked about the brief introduction on non microsomal and microsomal enzyme their site and the examples of these enzymes whereas we also talked about the action how inducers and inhibitors are acting in our body okay then see you in the next tutorial i hope this tutorial was helpful to you please do not forget to subscribe and hit the like button and help me grow thank you and bye bye